putting here, uh, this sentence defines perfectly her style. She says, my compositional style is urban. It cannot be deformed to such an extent that it will be unrecognizable. Therefore, it is in total disagreement with the atonal experimentation. So <laughs> you can, <laughs> for a lot of people, you know, they will be, ah, yeah, but for her, uh, I guess, and you know, I have played her music and I know her. Um, I truly believe that for her, music is a universal language. So that's the point. And if this is universal, it's also urban and is uh, like accessible. She wants to make the, the, yeah, the message clear to everyone. So that's why she keeps with the tonality. Here we have some characteristics that can define uh, Claudia. She uses tonal language. Why? Because it represents a, type, a type of hierarchy. She is a super well-organized um, person, and she needs uh, like this, you know, this frame, right? Like, okay, I choose this, uh, I go in this way, and I feel that everything has order. Uh, for the same reason, she uses uh, the formal structures, and she is really picky with the, the structure, with the form. The use of symmetrical structures as a type of order helps her to deliver the message with clarity. And that's her option. I mean, this is her vibration, right? This is her decision. So in this way, we could say that she's a type of neoclassic. Sometimes when I play her music, I rem it, you know, it reminds me the Sostakovich language. When you see this type of you know, phrases so clear, the chords, like no difficult or strange um, transitions or um, changes of tonality. The, the whole thing is like pretty clear. It's like when the clouds over on, on the sky, right? This clarity. I, I, I can define her music like that, like clarity. But at the same time, like Sostakovich, she has this a deep connection with her emotional world, and she is capable of creating the most beautiful melodies. Um, I, I hope you will feel the same. I feel that way uh, when I will play her music, you, you can understand that. So we have here the structure, the tonality, all of this frame, beautiful frame uh, that gives this <coughs> order, and the content of that is like pure soul. It, it wants to touch uh, the emotion and it is coming from the emotions. And the last element that, that, that is really, really important is the rhythmic elaboration. Why? Because of the folk and the tango roots. She cannot escape of that. And the milonga rib, is all over, all the time, all the time. So uh, that's, that's her. How she feels the music, as I said before, she feels the music like a universal language. So that's why she feels that. And this is, again, super Argentinian or super European. So I wish that my music could be heard all around the world. I love the idea that right now, somewhere, my music is being played. In a way, my essence is there. It is a kind of esoteric connection. It's my spirit is all over. Today, I test her. Claudia, everything is set up, I'm ready to play. Yeah, 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 Maria, I love you so much. My spirit is with you. It's, <laughs> it's this type of, of person. She just wants to spread love and she feels that, you know, in that way, by, by sharing the music in different parts, in different countries, she feels that, like this is her essence, no? That her essence is, is all over the world and she likes this idea. So basically, the multiple sides of her personality are displayed in different ways depending on the work and on the moment. You can also feel that her music is full of contrast. You have the order, but also you have the emotion, the power of the emotion. And she feels that her music is like Buenos Aires, full of contrast. I have never been to Buenos Aires, but she explained me some things, and apparently it is that way. Like kind of crazy, kind of messy. 
basically we have two topics, two, two main facts uh, that have defined her as a composer. The fact that she's a woman, and I repeat, she's a Hispanic uh, woman, a Latino woman, and also uh, the fact that she has been mother. Uh, the motherhood um, defined her, uh, her character. She defines herself as a woman without age. Now she's 58, but she has the soul of a 18 years old girl. And uh, her different creative periods have been defined by the life stages. The 20s and the 30s, she was just taking care of her kids. She couldn't, she couldn't compose at all, at all. So um, when she was 23, she had her first kid, and until, you know, I don't know how many years later, she couldn't devote uh, herself to composition. And I think that this is a, a thing, no? A thought that we could all um, think about artistry versus uh, your life, no? Motherhood. Men don't ask themselves that, but women, we have to. 